So, hello everyone. Uh, took me a little bit of time to get things up and running this evening, but I think it is about time to play some Populous, whether or not I have everything running or not. So, we're here, we're playing the original Populous. So here I am, as I usually am in DOSBox. We got some stuff we can do here, so here's the DIR. So, uh, Populous is, is interesting in that, uh, at least to start, because I couldn't quite figure out how to uh, how to get things rolling, if you will, with um, by just typing in the command. So you just if you just type in populous, which is, as as you can see here, uh, star dot e So you got populous. So if you type just type populous straight, you get populous PC speaker uh, EGA or CGA, some awful. I think it's actually CGA for color. And uh, it looks awful and it sounds awful. So I found out what you actually have to do is, is there's uh, arguments to type in when you want to start. So if you want to start the game, you type Populous, you type VGA, and since I have a Roland MT32, I type Roland MT32. And, oh, sorry, Populous. Boom. And then things kind of uh, begin as they tend to do. So as we see, Peter Molyneux game, then blah blah blah, all kinds of stuff. Music, not so bad. Roland MT32 1989 type stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So, uh, what was I doing? So we can listen to this for a little while. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, let's get everything going here. Okay, so, uh, I did the tutorial already, because honestly, I had no friggin' clue how this game worked. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't play it back when it came out. But uh, it seems pretty straightforward, actually. So let's go to Conquest Mode in F2. So here we are, in Conquest Mode. As soon as the game decides to start, type in thy name. Thy name will be Joe. And uh, this is copy protection, but this is the GOG version where they strip the copy protection, so we'll just do that. So, this is the game setup. So, the world we want to conquer will be called Genesis. We can change that if we want, but we're not going to bother. Battle number is zero. Landscape is grassy plains. His reactions, meaning the enemy, are very slow. His rating is very poor. Land built on people. The swamps are bottomless. And water is fatal. So, if one of my people falls in the water, they die. Uh, we both have three population. I have a whole bunch of stump, and he's got nothing. So, this should be a pretty, uh, pretty, easy, pretty easy game. So let's start. So here we have our leader, the guy with the little onk around him. And if we see some dots over here, there's the enemy leader. So what we're going to want to do is put our... There we go. So we're going to put our shield on him so we can go and go to him anytime we want. But for now, we got to go back to our leader. And we're going to clear... Basically... The point of the game here really is to make life easy for your uh, for your settlers or your the people that worship you, and you do that by uh, creating flat land, which allows them to settle more easily. And see, now I'm out of mana, which I assume I gain because uh, by having people worship me. So let's see, can I, oop, I went the wrong way. Come on, leader, keep settling things. So let's, eh. So yeah, a lot of it is really this whole land deal. And so you move around. So this is kind of the world view. So you see, I live on this island. And the enemy lives on that island. And so I basically my goal here is to spread as quickly as possible and become more powerful than the enemy. Which I will hopefully do soon enough. So that's good. My people are building some cabins and stuff. Is there anything? Yeah, you see, so there's more stuff this way. So this is all very reasonable. So we're going to lower that patch of land. 
because apparently, yes, these people don't like living on hills. We'll raise that up. Lower that down, so. And I guess since water is fatal, if I kind of do happen to uh, lower things down to below water and my people fall in, they will die. So you see, as more land kind of opens up around pe around these settlements, they kind of upgrade from these little wooden hovels to kind of little cottages up to these little stone embattlement things to these little castles. Over all the way to, uh, let's see if we could eventually get one of the big castles. I don't think we're quite there yet. So let's see if I lower this. Oops, see that brings it into the water. That's not what I want. So it's good. I can actually raise land out of the water, which is going to be helpful to get a kind of... Ooh, there's enemies over there too. Let's see. Uh-huh. So I'm kind of trapped over here. So i got to build my way over, which is okay. So this is good now. i got more people, which is... Oops, sorry, I blew up your house there, but it's okay. It's okay. We're just uh, we're doing good stuff here. Because the more people I have, I guess, kind of the more god power I have, I guess we can call it. Which means, so this is like my mana bar. Or his mana bar. No, no, that's mine. And this is like the leader, and these are kind of his strength and power situations. So once I flatten out this whole area, ooh, up, that'll allow kind of me to maximize, ooh, see there's a big, nice big settlement. Good job, leader. And so eventually I'm able to turn this leader. So what I can do here is I can actually cause an earthquake, maybe, like right here. I probably don't have enough mana. I do not. So later on you can do stuff like create earthquakes and blah, 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 but I don't have enough mana to do that. So for now we'll just focus on what I was doing. So now we want to go kind of across, so I want to raise some earth here. I know everyone who's played this game before is probably telling me how awful I am at it right now, so I, I understand that. Because sadly I never got a chance to play this game, as I just said, so I'm kind of figuring out, figuring it out as I go along. Which is how I do most of these things. Oop, come on. I kinda Alright, there needs to be people nearby. So yeah, so I have to build around people. So if my people don't settle, then I can't just go across the map and do stuff. Because my people are my strength. Because I am a strong and benevolent god. You know, it kind of makes me wonder about Peter Molyneux. He was—he's always been into these God games. I guess this was the original, the original God game, if you will. What's going on? Why can't I do anything? Ooh, what was that? Something happened. There was a sound effect. Anyways, as I was saying, this is kind of the original God game. So it kind of makes you wonder about Peter Molyneux's. I'm not sure what you want to call it, his uh, his mental state, I guess. He always seems to want to create these games where he gets to play God. So it kind of makes you wonder. So I want to develop this way, so I will place, this is called a papal beacon or something like that. So if I place that here, and then I tell the people to go to it. So my leader is going to go to this thing. And once he gets there, hello leader, come here leader. And once he gets here, that's good, so I can keep going. And I can tell him to settle here, so he's going to start making houses, which means I can keep fiddling with the earth. 
and driving things this way, so that's good. Come on. It's like a papal beacon, I think is what it's called. This onk. What do you mean, boom? I need to figure out what that sound is. Someone tell me. that far yet. I'll keep on settling. So I can build out here. So sadly this this game isn't quite as interesting to st stream as uh, as Tex Murphy maybe was. There's a little bit less going on. But I figure as I do this more, I'll get some folks in the chat, and uh, I have to figure out my internet connection because it seems like when I do stream here, uh, my download kind of goes to crap, so that's not really ideal. Okay, let's keep building up. Okay, so I should be able to do this. And we can hook up with the enemy. And then I can rain fire on him, which might be entertaining. So let's hook up there. Nope, can't do that yet. Can't do that yet either. Okay, so I see when it's a little... So if I go over here and it becomes a square, I can't do anything. But if it's a star, I can. That's reasonable. Good UI design, people. You know, again, for a 1989 game, which I believe, unless this isn't the total, maybe this is, I know this is including the Promised Lands, which is the expansion, I believe. Not that I've looked it up as of yet. But uh, that may, oh, all right, so I'm going to encounter some, some bad guys now, some evil doers. Oh, fight! And I won, I think, because that's my leader. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Fight, fight, fight. So, see, uh, no, I'm not close enough to do anything to these guys yet, so I'm going to have to keep building out and increasing my stuff. So what I can do here is I can screw them up. I'm still too far, so I can't go there yet. And then I can put this stuff down near my guys and make life easier for them. So my mana level is doing okay. Okay, so I'm close enough here. That I should. Let's see how this works. Boom, bitches! So I just totally wrecked them. Okay, so I see the downfall of that. So that took up some mana, and now I'm going to have to go in. And so there is a way to get rid of these mountain things. Okay, so see, yeah, doing the earthquake is, is good, but it's kind of a double-edged sword, because it thrusts up these mountains, which I believe if I sink them all the way, if I bring stuff all the way down to water level, I can destroy the mountains. But at the end of the day, is it really worth it? So now if I build it back up, whoa. All right, see this part gets tricky if you start going too fast, and then things to kind of start to get out of whack. So let's go down. <laughs> so apparently, if uh, you're following your religion, it's God's job to, uh, to form the earth. Because that's what we're doing here, and apparently this is kind of like the main thrust, the main way you do stuff in the game. 
so I think we kind of got our hands on this area. So where's my leader? There's my leader. So a cool thing I can do is I can create what's called a knight. So boom, so my leader has now become a knight. And if I tell the people to go to the Ankh, so basically the next person that touches the Ankh becomes my new leader, but now I've got a knight. And the knight's job, as I understand it, is to basically maraud, go around into the uh, surrounding enemy territories and you know pillage and destroy their, their stuff. So that's kind of nice, and I can create as many knights as I have mana for, so maybe I should do a few more of those. I still got to figure out what that noise means. So let's screw these guys up. So that's, that's kind of the point. So you go through and I say, okay, well, I'm going to mess, I mess them up. Uh, let's create another knight. And let's create another leader. There's my Ankh, so I have another leader. Hey, let's make him into a knight too, and let's create another leader and another knight. Thou is knighted. And we can drop one of those right there. So that's good, so my leader can keep walking around and doing stuff. I got knights that are gonna wreck up the enemy, which is always a good thing. So yeah, it seems like a reasonable good. Well, thank you, Pantherhead. I don't suspect my gameplay is all that good, but uh, I'll go with it. Since I have no clue what I'm doing, really, I just did the quick tutorial. Ran the quick, ran through the quick tutorial. Uh, ran through uh, part of the manual at the very least. Break it. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm I'm missing stuff, this is this is really it. So my job is basically to go. Okay, so let's see. Can I? Yes, I can go here, and I can. That's Armageddon, so that one's bad. See, look, he set it on fire. He's awesome. You go, knight. So let's see where can I finally. I want to earthquake some people. So it looks like I need to be. Yes, yeah, so for those of you watching on YouTube, I do, well, I do this, I do stream live on Twitch TV at twitch.tv slash umbcast. So if you guys uh, keep an eye on the UMB show Twitter account, and the uh, Facebook group, UMB, what is it, facebook.com slash groups slash UMB cast. I usually post over there when I'm about to go live. So if you do happen to uh, to want to watch this stuff live, I got uh, don't have that many people. I think I've only got one or two people watching right now, which is fine by me. It's no problem. But I figured, since I do these kind of research playthroughs on my own anyways, I might as well throw them up on video. I think those means that there's fights. Oh, look at this. That's, that's not, not cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. 
Oh yeah, so that means that there's a fight. And I'm not sure if I'm winning the fights or losing the fights, but... I will assume that I'm losing them. I mean winning them. <laughs> Here, I should create some more knights. Yeah, my guy won. I see that there. So we're back here. Let's create another knight. Let's create another knight. Go and do your stuff, knights. Noble knights of the Joe. Okay, back to settling. So yes, I can only assume that things get a little bit more challenging as I proceed through this conquest. Stop that. Stop that, I say. Okay, so let's set the onk. I said set onk. Right here. And let's make the people go to the onk. You leader can become another knight since I I'm full of, I'm all full of mana. Oh come on, yeah. Let's get another guy going here. Yes, torch that building. Pillage. Do all kinds of bad stuff. One more. Let's create one more knight. Come on, knights. Okay. One more knight. Now let's get a leader back. Since the leader is the only dude I can actually control directly. Okay, so you guys go back to settling. I'm going to break you. Good, my knights are doing their doing their work. Okay, so they're too far away, so I can't affect them. But you see, as as I'm, I'm slowly, so here there isn't really much, but I'm slowly taking over the entire map. And basically, the way to win is just to uh, defeat the enemy, if you will. Basically, you just take out the entire, you decimate the enemy, and you win. So that is what we shall do. So let's place the honk thing over here. And let's make the people go to it. Another knight can't hurt since I got the juice for it. It's kind of like this entire game is the world creation portion of SimCity. Okay, you guys go back there. It's kind of like the first MMO I ever played was City of Heroes. I never, I didn't start off with WoW. I started off with COH. And, um, you know, the coolest aspect of, of City of Heroes was uh, the, what's it called, the character creation thing. So most people like wouldn't even bother playing the game because the game itself was a little bit dull. But, um, whoop, yay, I won, look at that, huzzah. I rule. Okay, so let's see here. So battles won, 235, so I won more battles. I have two knights, he has none. Well, that's because he couldn't have any, blah, blah, blah. So new game. Well done, mortal. You conquered Genesis. Now battle at Timuslug. Okay. World to conquer Timuslug. Battle number is three. Landscape is grassy plains. His reactions are very slow. His rating is very poor. Land built on people. The swamps are bottomless. The water is fatal. Three, three, and still a whole bunch of... I still have stuff. So let's start the game. Is there a way I can save... Let's save a game. Let's save, sure, we'll save it on the D drive. We'll call it Tumuslug. I need a new, sure, good enough. I need a new keyboard. This old G15 is just not doing it for me anymore. The keys don't really even work. Okay, so let's go down. 
Sure, let's raise everything up a little. How about that? That'll make life easier as opposed to going down. Thank you, Pantherhead. Got a congratulations for winning that uh, for winning that match in the chat room. Uh, okay, so I got to go this way. I will grant that that was the first battle, which probably is incredibly. Oops, wrong way. Simple. Sorry there. Leader. Oh, right, I gotta go this way. I'm all messed up with the map. To... <sighs> okay, down. Oh, so now I'm out of mana. Come on, need mana. Need mana. Well, while I'm waiting for mana, let's see here. Where is... Not sure what that's all about. Oh, that's where my onk is. I think that's like the main bad guy headquarters or some crap like that. Uh, so let's question mark sure we'll leave it on him for now and we'll go back to me raise lower so let's lower this I might be going a little slow let's hope I don't fall behind Anyways, for the moment, we'll just focus on our dudes here. Yay! There's a big castle. That was handy. So yeah, as we saw in the last round there, the mountains are kind of impregnable. At least until... Like you can lower them, if you lower them down into the level of water, then uh, then they go away. But I, as I said before, I wonder how worthwhile that really is, unless they're really, really, really impeding your progress. Let's bring that up, bring that down. Who knew that people love settling on pure flat land? I guess that makes sense. Far. Let's get my people over here. Let my people go. Oh, that's still too far. Let's get them moving more this way. Proceed! And settle. I think I hear the wife coming home, so I may need to cut this a little bit short this evening. Sadly, but uh, we'll wait till the door does stuff. She's at yoga. I was at the gym before. So, uh, I'm actually a little bit sweaty and smelly right now, but that's okay. Ah, there we go. We've encountered the enemy. Ooh, I think I lost that fight. Over here. Follow the dudes. Oh, guess that wasn't her. Okay. Let's see, I wonder. Do I have enough juice to make a knight? I guess I don't. Fight, fight, fight. Yes. Looks like we're actually winning. Oh, there's their leader. if I can like smite people directly. Let's 
wreck them up a little. Come on, leaders. Yes, my leader won. I have the best leader. Oops. Yeah, sometimes the uh, you push its left button, left mouse button. Whoa, what the crap is that? It's like leader fortress. Let's destroy it if I can. Yeah, I gotta go go back in the manual and see what exactly that is. So yeah, like I was saying, it's left mouse button to lower terrain, or sorry, raise terrain. <laughs> I got that backwards, which is probably why I keep doing it backwards. So yes, left button raises terrain, right button lowers terrain. And as you can see, you don't have a huge like play area that it really cares about. Let's get my dudes a little more over. Okay, I guess I can't place it there. How about right there? Nope. Here? No. Here. Fight, fight, fight! Where is my thing? Oh, it's way over there. Way over there? That doesn't make any sense. It's not where I wanted it. That's too far. So let's place. Why can't I place the there the thing? I'm not sure. I don't think I'm, I might. I I may not be winning at this point. a contraption. Oh, they're ganging up on me. That's not good. Oops. I think the enemy leader is beating me. Where are my people? And the Ankh is way over there, but I want to move it. This papal contraption is way over here. Oh yeah, they're definitely pushing back into my uh, my territory here. So why can't I place this like right? See, it's not letting me, which I don't quite comprehend. Okay, let's go break up these guys' party a little bit here. And hopefully my dudes will, uh, oops. Where's the, there should be a, there's a fight button here somewhere, I thought. I just can't quite seem to find it, because their leader is kind of decimating all of my dudes, which I don't love. Ooh, they're totally winning. They're a lot, a lot stronger than me. <laughs> Not going well! Not going well. Here, let's uh, fortify my area here a little bit. Bring it up. So it's all level. Let's see, this is good. Good, good learning experience. That's for sure. but I'd love to know why I cannot move this thing. And now it's like way in their territory. So what if I just start sending my people over there and I just start messing this stuff up? Boom! Volcanoed their asses. 
Whoa, that was a weird noise. Whoa, that was a weird noise too. <laughs> Something in my basement made an incredibly strange noise. Oh. Oh, my guys are getting totally reckonated. Knight? Knight? Where is my leader? No. Nope. Okay, there, I've got a knight, so that's that's something. There, so maybe now... Don't fight! Oh, come on, just lose! Oh, oh he keeps wrecking up my dudes. Oh, I think it's because it's, like, out of my sphere of influence. That's kind of the problem. What does this button do? Ooh. Oh, that's the water thing. So that's the opposite of Earthquake. Earthquake makes things go up, and this makes things go down. All right, so now i got a leader. So now that means hopefully I can move this back into... Yes. Into my territory, so then everyone can go to the Peppel contraption. I can create some... More of these guys. There we go. Now I may hopefully be able to recover from this stuff a little bit, from this situation, if you will. Okay, let's create another knight. Okay, I guess I'm not the mana for that. Okay, so let's get back to settling. fortify our rear over here, it looks like. Okay, so that's fine. So what if we go in from this direction? So what if we place our thingy over here? And tell the people to go to it. I can, uh, change our attack here. We can attack from a different angle. Oh, there's that's where the enemy leader got to. Unless I've turned evil, is that what happens? No, that's him. He's evil. I'm good. Oh, wrong way. That's okay, something back to settling mode. Awesome. If 
there was just a touch more of uh, a play area, but I guess that's also part of the challenge. Okay, so see, I kind of got them surrounded here, unless this was a little inroads of, yeah, I'm doing okay. So let's replace my onk thing. Mana for knighting for a knighting. Or I don't have enough mana to do. Oh, there we go. It was not being responsive. So I am actually interested, and I'm going to try maybe tomorrow to uh, to play Populous Two and see you know what kind of advantages or disadvantages or changes they made between the two versions. Because I would hope that they did increase kind of the, the play area, if you will. And I'm sure in my research I'll find a whole bunch of other stuff, and because I feel like there's probably a whole whack of intricacies that I'm missing here playing this game with as little as little knowledge as I have. So I think I have a little bit of a foothold here. I'm doing a little better than uh, than the bad guys, if you will. I see. Can I move this now? Nope. Touch the thingy. Good. Got a knight. Got another knight. Take him down. Oh, come on, that was a knight. Oh, he's following me. What a jerk. What a jerk. Leave them be. Oh, that's their thing. When did that happen? Okay, so I don't have a leader, so I can't actually move. I see what happened. Okay. So they're kind of fortified, and they're taking out all my dudes. Okay, well, let's just ignore that then. <laughs> I think something... This isn't going to go well, because my guys keep trying to go in there. And I can't actually move it. What if I... Ugh, there we go. 
Okay, so I guess that'll do for the moment. Uh, I will probably come back with some more stuff. I'll save it again. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, as always, for, uh, for listening, for uh, being with me here live on the stream. And uh, after, I will, uh, as usual, have this out on the YouTube channel with, uh, you know, all its uh, usual accoutrements. Thanks a lot. Later, everyone.